great. I, this video, I just cannot get this video filmed. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my June TBR and my Strangeathon TBR. So I don't have too many books to mention outside of my Strangeathon TBR because I am in the middle of quite a few things and I'm not sure what I'm going to finish before June starts and May ends and I'm in a very weird reading mood. So we'll just have to see what happens there. One of the books that I want to get to in the month of June is Cat and Mouse by MJ Arledge. This is the next installment of the Helen Grace Detective Inspector series. And it comes out in June. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it's about. I think it's about a stalker. And I don't need to know anything else because I just, I love this series. I love Helen Grace. I love her friends, her coworkers. Like it's just, MJ Arledge always keeps me on the edge of my seat and entertained. And I am looking forward to this one. It's pre-ordered, ready to go. All right, I just had to turn the bubble machine on for my son. So hopefully you can't hear it. Anyways, another book that I plan on reading or starting in June is It by Stephen King. I'm sure you've heard me mention it or maybe you've seen it on our Instagrams or something, but Rain and I are hosting a read-along of It. We've got a Discord linked below. I've got it all broken down into the five parts of the books where we will discuss it. My lighting is gone. Anyways, no lighting. Here we go. Um, June, July, August, we're reading this book. At the end of it, probably sometime in September, we're going to have a live show to discuss it. This will be my fourth read. I'm really excited. I'm really anxious to see what everyone else is going to think of it for those who haven't read it before. I'm really looking forward to this one. And then Strangeathon is back. So Stacks of Strange in June. We do not have a monthly selection. We are hosting our readathon again, and it's taking place the 20th through the 26th. We've got a bingo board. We've got five prompts. And my TBR is definitely subject to change depending on like what is going on in my life and what kind of mood I'm in. But I'm gonna go through the prompts and let you know what I plan on reading. The first prompt is different format. So this could be like graphic novel, manga, audiobook, whatever is different than like the norm for you. And so I'm going to be reading The Nice House on the Lake by James Tinian. This is a graphic novel about a weird house on a lake where weird creepy things happen. I don't actually remember the synopsis other than like that. And um, I read Something That's Killing the Children by him and I love that series. So I'm really looking forward to this. Next prompt is Backlist. I plan on reading Pines by Blake Crouch. I've wanted to read this trilogy for a while and I just, it's a backlist selection. It's about an FBI agent. I think he goes searching in a small town for other FBI agents who have previously gone missing and he, something maybe about his identity or memory. I don't know. Um, but again, another one I'm looking forward to. I'm hoping to get a lot marked off of my like red or to be read physically owned TBR. I'm trying to read a lot of books that I already own in the next couple of months. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. Prompt is a non-human character. So this could be like an animal or a vampire or a monster. It doesn't have to be from their point of view. It just has to have a non-human character. And maybe I'm stretching it a little bit, but for this, I'm going to be reading Clowns vs. Spiders by Jeff Strand. <laughs> I am counting the spiders as the non-human character, which I guess it's not a stretch. A group of clowns are fired from a circus because like nobody likes clowns anymore. Um, and so they, to make ends meet, they're eventually forced to take a job in a popular haunted attraction and they're like scary clowns now. And then oversized spiders emerge from a cave and begin their deadly invasion. I, that's, that's, I'm not even gonna, I'm just gonna read it because it sounds fun and that cover is terrifying. Another prompt is to read a book with a strange cover. For that, I'm going to be reading The Pisces by Melissa Broder. This is about a woman who falls in love with a swimmer, but I think he ends up being like part fish or something. There, it's some kind of like weird, magical realism strangeness. I just feel like it would be perfect for this readathon. Then the last prompt is LGBTQ plus rep. Um, this could be like the author or the characters. And I, I mean, like I haven't chosen anything yet. So if you have any recommendations, let me know. I might go for, I don't know, some kind of like horror novella or something. I feel like I've gotten quite a few big books so far. But if you have any suggestions, let me know. I'm also kind of waiting to see like what 
the rest of the group plans on reading and what or what like their suggestions are. But yes, that is my Strangeathon TBR, my June TBR. Hopefully this video is kind of quick because I don't really have much to say. I hope your reading is going well. Let me know what you plan on reading in June, if you plan on participating in Strangeathon. Sorry about the lighting, sorry about the background noise. I just, I'm, I'm doing what I can. <laughs> so I will see you in my next video.